Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, today I'm gonna finally reveal my secret of how to grow your hair. If you're growing out your hair, if you're trans, if you're just wanting to grow your hair or just advice on how to grow your hair, you guys, I got you. Before I show y'all, please don't laugh. <laughs> I've been meaning to do this and take care of it, but for this video, I've been growing it out and I haven't had time to film, but it's time. Okay, don't laugh, please don't laugh. <gasps> These ugly side burns, you guys. We're gonna get rid of those and yeah, so I'm gonna show you the most effective, better way so you don't have side burns. So yeah, we're gonna take care of that. So if you want, if you want to learn, keep watching, and I'm going to show you how to take care of these ugly, disgusting sideburns. Oh, no, 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 no. They make you look so masculine. Once you take care of them, you're going to look more femme, you guys. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, no, no, no. We're going to take care of that. I'll grab you a drink. Today, we're drinking naughty natural light seltzer so yeah i swear every every time i film i have a different drink okay you guys before i demonstrate and like actually work on my sideburns i'm gonna show you and give you a little class on how hair like the sideburns work and why you get that stubble, that sideburn, unattractive, ugly, Elvis Presley looking thing growing on you and how to avoid that. So, with that being said, I made a little chart for you guys. So this, oh my god, this camera. So this is your skin and this would be a hair follicle that is growing pretty natural and this is how it grows when you pluck it and we're gonna pluck it with some tweezers and this you get by shaving you get that stubble like I know guys get little stubble because you're just chopping it you're chopping the hair follicle and then it grows just just cut it. that's how it grows and that's why it looks so ugly versus this one when you pluck it from the root it's gonna grow more natural what's gonna grow natural is gonna look 10 times better so I'm gonna show you we're gonna aim for this and I'm gonna show you how to do it okay now that you understood that a little bit more please don't shave your sideburns I know a lot of girls people guys well guys can do it but females if you want to look more femme you want to avoid that so don't shave don't shave don't shave i know you can thread and you can wax but this will save you money like just tweezing it tweezing it will save you a lot of money so now let me demonstrate for you guys here i have this is an epilator slash shaper and you can use this for your sideburns it works i've tried it it just hurts a lot and then you might get some bleeding and unevenness so that's why i tend not to use the epilator and yeah so i'm not gonna do it that way you could do it that way but i'm not i'm gonna use simple plain tweezers i'm gonna bring you closer and all you're gonna need is some tweezers you guys it's that easy and probably some pins to pin back your hair so we're gonna begin you guys before you start please take a sip of some alcohol and get ready that's what i'm gonna say but just watch your hair your sideburns transform into 
beautiful Ariana Grande cute little side prints, okay? So let's take a sip. And just pray. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay, you guys, so I'm only... Oh my god, my hair's in the way. I have so many baby hairs. So, um, I'm gonna pin my hair. These pins are so good and so inexpensive inexpensive so i recommend these but i'm only gonna show one side so y'all can see the before and after so what you want to do is you want to pin your hair back pin it back as much as you can i'm gonna do like a little chun -li little bun and just clamp it and then here we have you just got to be very selective of what you guys want to keep and what you want to like pretty much this is gonna grow back and this I want to tweeze because it's hmm, I might want to keep a little more it's up to y'all but pretty much I want to tweeze all this and yeah so try to find i'm gonna try to find the bobby pin and bobby pin it back and then this is what we're gonna work with so give me one second y'all okay you guys we're kind of losing the natural light outside but okay i'm trying to film fast so i bobby pinned the hair straight i want and pretty much we're gonna get rid of this so this has grown so long to make it easier, I'm just going to do a chop, just to see better. Pretty much all we're going to do is get rid of this and start clicking, you guys. So I know it's going to hurt. Take a sip. Oh my god. It's going to hurt like crazy. So I'll start from, oh, ow. Pretty much just go ham. Start ow. Ow. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna get rid of all that. Pretty much start plucking. So, I don't want to bore you, so I'm going to speed up the process, and yeah, I'll let you see a little later how I'm doing. Okay, you guys, after, like, <sighs> literally, after so much tears and ouches and, <sighs> hold on. <gasps> So literally, I just kept plugging, 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 plugging. That's all you have to do. I uh, didn't want to bore y'all, but let me show y'all. So this is the before. This is the before, you guys. And this. This is the after. As y'all can see, it looks so much better, more feminine, more beautiful. If I wanted to do a Ariana Grande ponytail, pretty much I'm not gonna have these ugly hairs. So yeah, you gotta maintain it like every two weeks, maybe three weeks, maybe a month. Don't wait like me. I waited like <laughs> two months, three months because my hair grows really fast. So yeah, you guys. It's a little red. It feels really hot. But the irritation will go down. And if you have an event or what, anything, just put foundation over it. If you wear makeup. and Or some aloe vera to cool it down. Some aloe vera gel. That will literally take care of that. But yeah, this is all plucking you guys so inexpensive you can get rid of your sideburns for literally these were like three bucks versus getting it threaded every two weeks that's money spent and you know 
So yeah, you guys, now I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna take the bobby pins out so I can show y'all how it looks. So, now I can, I have a little, these I'm not gonna pluck cause they're gonna just grow. And I'm putting them behind my ear and all I gotta take care of is the little hairs. And when they grow, it's not gonna grow back like stubble. It's gonna grow so beautiful. That's one advice I wanna give to y'all girls, y'all queens. Don't shave, please don't, don't. Don't shave. Pluck. Pluck, you guys. Pluck. Maybe thread. I'm not too sure about that, but you're just throwing money down the drain. And now, I can put my hair back. It looks clean. It looks feminine. I can do the whole Ariana Grande if I want to without no problems. So yeah, you guys, that's how I get rid of my Elvis Presley ugly sideburns. So, before, after. Before, after. So if you like this video, please, if you like these kind of videos of me showing you some beauty tricks and hacks and expensive hacks, let me know, I'll do more before. After you guys, if y'all want more videos like this, let me know and give it a like, a comment. This is Melina Glam, and I'll see you on my next video, you guys. Well, let me know if y'all tried this and how painful it was because it's pretty painful, but it's not terribly painful. So there's other more painful things that y'all do. So. This is nothing. Anyways, you guys, see you on my next video. Love you guys. Mwah.